The M1916 Stahlhelm, the German helmet, World War I. At the beginning of World War I, the German army, like other countries, wore headgear that offered very little protection. For Germany, its early war helmet was the leather spike helmet called the Pickelhaube, which was expensive, offered little protection, and was unsuitable for the trenches. In 1916, the Pickelhaube was replaced by the more practical steel helmet called the Stahlhelm. The Germans were the first to test a steel helmet, but slow to introduce it on the battlefield. Many of the German army groups frustrated at waiting had improvised better head protection. In 1915, for example, General Gied was stationed in the rocky area of the Vosges and was shocked at the number of injuries his troops were suffering from, so he issued his own helmet design to 1,500 of his soldiers. When it was finally ready, the M1916 Stahlhelm was first introduced in small numbers at Verdun in early 1916, and its effectiveness on the battlefield led to mass production. It had a distinctive coal scuttle design inspired by helmet designs from centuries ago, and its shape protected the head and neck. The helmet was formed from a steel disc and was stamped several times to reach its distinctive shape. Its liner had space inside away from the shell on the sides and the top to prevent head injury from objects hitting and denting the helmet. The rivets on the sides held the M1891 chin strap and its lugs were the same type as the pickle hub. The sides also featured another pair of larger horn-like lugs which helped with ventilation and to support an optional brow plate armor for snipers, sentries, and machine gunners called a Stunpanza. The helmet would also be produced in several shell sizes from 60 to 68, and its weight varying from 0.98 to 1.4 kilograms. It would be painted in field gray, although the helmet was also customized by soldiers who camouflaged it using mud, foliage, and paint. Official standards for a camouflage paint scheme was ordered by the general staff in 1918. It was to be a green base coat with yellow ochre and rust brown camouflage colors, outlined with black. Canvas camouflage covers were also created for the helmet from late 1916 in white for winter and in gray to reduce the glare from the sun. The Stahlhelm evolved during the duration of the war, with variants including the M1917, which was a more simplified design, without the Pickelhaub chin strap mounts, and the rare M1918 helmet which featured ear cutouts for better hearing and reduced echo in the trenches. The Austro-Hungarian army would also have their own variant, which was often colored golden brown and the Ottoman Empire would receive 5,400 Weiserlers versions of the M1918 helmet from Germany. A big thank you to Vikings War of Clans for sponsoring this video. Play this game for 5 minutes and see why we're so addicted to it. For us, Vikings War of Clans resembles those classic strategy games of the 90s and 2000s, but now it's on mobile, and you can easily play it during a 5-minute break at work. Tremendous battles between Western and Eastern coalitions leave nobody indifferent. A new massive battle is coming, and we need you. Come join us in the game. Our nick is simple history. Support our channel, download the game from the links in the description below, and get the simple history special bonus of 200 gold for a fast and successful start.